uh, I always I say it's there's there's um, timing. Yeah. You know, it may not be time right now. I mean, of course, you've got the vision. You put the, the Lord has put the vision in you, and but it doesn't mean right now. Sometimes, sometimes it might mean ten years from now, but you work toward it. Sometimes it might mean something might mean tomorrow, but very rarely that's it. You yeah. know, because there's always a process in going for your goal. Please be so kind to support us by clicking the like button and subscribing to our channel to be notified of all future content. Hello everyone and welcome to this next episode of the KOG, that's the Kingdom of God Entrepreneur Show. I am your host, Stephen Harris, and today I have the very lovely, very talented, now author, Miss Jackie O'Neill Kelly. Hello, Miss Jackie. Hello, just, Steve. <laughs> it's good to see you again and, and welcome yes. to the show. Yes, thank you. I'm glad to be here. It's, it, it's awesome to have you. Um, so uh, I know you because I used to work for your, your husband, Keith Kelly, yeah. who author Keith Kelly, who was on the show uh, recently, yes. uh, was my boss when we were working in the, uh, the timeshare industry and doing yeah. sales. We were those annoying guys and you walked into the mall that, that would get your attention, try to sell you timeshare. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, anyway, our person that our, one, our faith, our personality, sense of humors and everything clicked. And uh, I remember uh, before me and my wife moved from Charlotte down to Columbia, South Carolina, um, we had uh, a, a nice lunch with you and Keith and it was yeah. a great time. And, you know, now we're back in Charlotte. You're in the Nashville, Tennessee area, right? Yes. Yes, we are. Yes. Okay. And a lot's changed. So um, please tell us about yourself. There's my, my journey has been quite interesting, but I, I grew up in a, in a, in a, a creative family of 10, mm -hmm. six boys and four girls. And wow. we're, you know, at these, you know, I'll call it a, a very artistic family, but uh, in these days, they call it creatives. They got this new name for it. So I'm a creative. And our dad was the pastor of the church. He was also a singer, a, a musician. And uh, my mother was a nurse. So and she was a great seamstress. So we grew up in a very creative um, home. And so our dad taught us to use our gifts. And But he was he's also, like I said, he was a pastor of the church. So um, we used our gifts in his church. We were the musicians, we were the singers. And we, you know, I, you know at a very young age, I started singing about five years old. And then mm -hmm. I started uh, playing the piano at seven. And then at 12 years old, I, my training began with, with uh, training uh, choirs and groups and things like that. So I would play for the young, the, the, from the kids to the adults. So I've had this, um, experience for that long and so um uh and so uh, as i got older and i married uh, got married to a military man and we're of course not together anymore and after that we uh, you know i was able to travel all over from alaska to germany to i mean i've been all over mm -hmm. uh, practically all over almost all over the world uh in the military and during those times the lord would always open the door for me to minister in music so my training was continuing on, especially with other uh, churches and things like right. that. So uh, after that, after marrying Keith um, in 1996, I believe we uh, then we also had an opportunity to travel missionary uh, to Cairo, Egypt, to Rome, wow. to Dubai. We've been just all over like that, ministering uh, with another group of people, and. Um, and then I started pursuing my music around, you know, at the beginning of our marriage, Keith managed me as a, uh, he was my manager. Mm -hmm. So he managed me through music. Uh, I started, I was singing other people's songs and he encouraged me, you need to write your own songs, oh, you know? Okay. So I started doing that, but writing my own songs really kind of came with a price because the only way I was able to write was what I've experienced in life. So, um, so I, I started writing and I wrote a, my first song, um, called Be Free. 
And then, and then after that, I started writing a lot of other songs. My first album was all about you. And the second al album was called Forgiven. And so during that time, I to let me tell me if I'm going too long because I'm, no, I'm trying to make it all short. <laughs> okay. You're multifaceted. So I, huh? You're multifaceted. Well, you're that's balanced. what I'm that's what I'm saying. You know, mm -hmm. if uh, a little bit about myself, I think the Lord has just really poured a lot into me. So, but mm -hmm. uh after uh writing songs for my album, uh I started uh the Lord it put it in, into my heart to start writing books writing about my songs. And so it started with the second album called Forgiven. And so I wrote a song called Forgiven. I mean, I wrote a, a book called Forgiven Songs and Devotions. Okay. And, um, and then after that, uh, every time I write an album, I would do a concert in our hometown. So we were well known in our, in our hometown. So I would have a, a, a huge musical concert. And then, um, and then, you know, uh, uh, we left, we left uh, our hometown to move to Charlotte, but I was continuing on with my music and writing my books. And uh, and each each time I write a, a album, I had a book to go with it. I think I said that. I don't know if I said that already. Hmm. And so uh, we moved to Charlotte and loved Charlotte. We were there for five years. I finished my uh, third album, Stepping Out, Moving Forward, was the name of it. And um, you know, from there, I started just experiencing a lot of different things. So I guess that's going to get into the next, probably the next question. <laughs> but uh, I could stop right there. <laughs> okay, well, uh, I mean, the, the next thing I was going to bring up was what events led you to this point, but you kind of gave us a snippet in that because right. the, the book that you have now is Stepping Out, Moving Forward, Songs and Devotions. It's obviously yes. based on the, the most recent album, right? Yes, yes. So please it tell was, us about it, like yes. what inspired it, the stories behind it, and, and you know, yes. why you thought not, not, the music's just not enough. We got to add the book to it as well. Exactly. You know, it works, it works together. So the uh, Stepping Out Moving Forward is, um, it's a second series, okay? You know, I told, I was telling you about the Forgiven um, Songs and Devotions, I was Forgiven album, which I wrote a book called Songs and Devotions on that. Mm -hmm. And then, so the second book, Stepping Out, Moving Forward now, it's a, it's a series, well, it's a, um, the second series and there's 10 chapters. It's a short read, an ebook mm. right now. And each chapter, the way we set it up, and this is what the Lord gave me, how, you know, how to mix my, put my music in with what I write about. The first of uh, each chapter is divided up in, the lyrics with the lyrics of the songs and then um, the, the devotional part with scriptures that talks about the songs and most of my songs, all of my songs were scriptural. Mm -hmm. So that was easy to do. So I would write a devotion and, and just encouraging words. And then at uh, the end of each chapter, I would have the story behind the music, how it was written. How did I, how was I inspired by it? And then at the end of that chapter, you can, for the ebook, you can click on a, a link to hear the music. So it takes oh, wow. you on a journey um, of, of uh, you know, and the music is uplifting, it's inspirational. Um, it's something to, for people to hope for and to just feel good. It might make you dance, it, it's, it's uplifting. So it may make you dance. It might make you, um, you know, just think about where you are with certain mm -hmm. songs that I have, like the names of the songs. I'll, I'll name the songs really quick. Uh, one of the songs is Yes, I Will, which is a cover. And I don't know what most people, if you, I don't know what you, if you know what a cover is, but it's someone else's song. That's the only yeah. song that I didn't write on the album, but I took it, put my flavor on it. Uh, I don't know if anybody remember Brian Duncan's, but he was one of my favorite mm -hmm. songs. And he's, he's, he's a white guy that has a, that has soul. He yeah. just, he's just very soulful. So mm -hmm. he wrote that song and I always wanted to do it. So I put that on the album, put my flavor on it. And yes, I will is, is talking about how, you know, we, you know, you, you, um, sometimes we hear all these voices in the world and you, yep. and, and it causes you not to pursue your goals or not to pursue what God is giving you or not to go forward because it, you know, voices are usually saying, you can't do this. You don't know how to do this. You never done it. It's never been done or whatever. But that song talks about, you have to say to the devil Yes, I am. Yes, I'm doing. Yes, I will. 
you know, so it, it's a very encouraging, uplifting song. And that's why I wanted to do it. And then the other songs on there is uh, Letting Go, Never, Fr Never Give Up, Stronger, Stepping Out, Moving Forward, which is the title of the album or the book. Mm -hmm. I'm Yours, I Will Wait, and I Will Wait. I don't know if you had if you had a chance to hear it, but Keith sings that song, sings on there with me. Okay, so, interesting. Yeah. Yes, I will wait. I know the plans. The invitation is inviting people to know Christ, and then one way. And all of these songs I wrote, and then there's a dedication at the end of it about my mother. We just uh, lost my mom mm -hmm. October 31st okay. of last year. The 20. Sorry of 20 to hear that. Okay. Yeah. I, yeah. I remember Keith letting me know. You know when. Yes. When, when around yes. the time it happened. But yeah. Yes. Um, yes. Well, I wrote a, a, a chapter about her while she was alive. I mean, I've had this book in my computer for about three or four years, you okay. know, and I, and because of the pandemic, I was able to finish it. So, oh, okay. yes. Wow. So that's what that song, the book is about. And it's very exciting. I'm excited cool. about it. Oh, and the print book is going to be released pretty soon. Okay. Well, yes. thank you for sharing. Now, now, um, you know, the, the whole purpose of the show is finding people who again are for the kingdom, they're sold out to what God mm -hmm. has them here on this earth for, and they're entrepreneurs. You obviously are living that, right? You're not just one who's like, my job is to be in corporate America. And, you know, you're, you're actually stepping out with the creativity God's giving you yes. to share a product with the world. And in this case, the product is multiple, three CDs currently, right? Yes. And two books up to this point, two right? Two books, yes, yes. Okay. Now, you know, now, of course, you know, we call ourselves starving artists. <laughs> so you're going to have those times. But God has been really good how he's how he's been how he's kept us and especially during this time. So, yeah, I always wanted to do, uh, you know, all this time, you know, in my previous life, I've always worked for somebody, I always had to, you know, follow their rules and everything. And I never liked it. But sometimes life forces you to have to yeah. do that. Yeah. And sometimes you have to do it for a little while while you're working on your own thing to make that transition. So yeah. that's where we're kind of at right now. So yeah, no, I understand. And, and, yeah. and, you know, the Bible tells us we have to work or we don't eat. Right. That's right. And, and, and uh, personally, I like having an income, having my own place, supporting my family, you know, oh, something yeah. convenient about being able to afford food. And to travel to see family members, I, I kind of like those things, of course, and, you know, of if course. I have to work for someone else, so I'm with you. Yeah. Yeah. Um, well, that and, doesn't mean that I never had to, though, because, you yeah. know, the pandemic has changed a lot of things. Oh, yeah. So yeah, I was working yeah. before that, you know. So. Yeah, 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 yeah. And I was just saying what I'm saying, because a lot of artistic people would, you know, they don't care if they're bumming on people's couches and sleeping oh, in the wow. car because oh. they're so sold out to the art. Oh, and no. uh, uh -uh. I think in my early 20s, that was yeah. somewhat acceptable, but not at this point in my life. <laughs> well, there's a thing called wisdom. Yeah. You know, you want to do what you want to do, but you have to use your head and you have to have wisdom. And wisdom yeah. is like gold. It's a yeah. nugget, you know. Yeah. So, mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> and, 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 and I guess my question for you is um, because this program is predominantly geared towards again people who maybe they are entrepreneurs or aspiring to be you know yeah they're, they're sick of having a job because they feel yes. like their time and talents are used in areas that are yeah. simply you know giving them enough to survive and not really thrive and um you know what what steps did you have to take in order to step out of the uh the normal uh you know just the american mindset of go get a job and save and this and that you know what what did you have to do to break that and start taking the risks that you've taken up to this point well while i worked in the evening i work on what i wanted to do mm -hmm. and i guess it was an it's always been like a passion inside of me to do I mean I love teaching I mean I was teaching music and, and vocal training to uh, some kids I love that and I was able to work at a school to teach music at, at a charter school in Charlotte I loved it I mean it was mm. third grade I think second it was kindergarten and then second through 
third and then some sixth, seventh, eighth graders and, or okay. whatever. It was something like that. So I, you know, I was doing my passion while I was uh, writing and things like that. And it wasn't easy because you, you know, you have other responsibilities. You have what you call life. You got to, you know, you still have to do certain things, but as you work, if you have to work, you work. And then what I've done is I, you know, at times when I had some free time, whenever I had free time, I would um, just get on the computer and write or during my devotion time when the Lord would speak to me and put into me, uh, just, I would just hear him speaking to me and I would write and write. So, um, I mean, it's, it's always going to be a process. It's not easy. You just have to stay, stay with it. If you really want it, you need to go after it. And so we've always, Keith and I have always been like passionate people. We want to just do things. We want to make a difference in life. We want to, you know, not to make, you know, try to get rich off of it. Of course I wouldn't deny it or I wouldn't not take it, you know, yeah, I understand. Uh, you know, you got to have money to live. That's how this society is. But, you know, we just, we just, um, whatever the passion was there and just, we just kind of worked on, on it at the, on the side of it as we had to work for corporate, you know, yeah. or, you know, I hope I answered that question. Yeah, no, absolutely. And I think okay. that's, uh, I think that is probably one of the biggest setbacks that entrepreneurs have is the discipline it takes, right? Because it's yeah. easy to flow with creativity, right? Yeah. But then when creativity now has to become in predetermined blocks of time <laughs> where you yeah. give yourself permission to dream, permission to think out of the box, right? Because the the, the right. like Jesus talks about the 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 so the seeds that are sown on rocky soil the cares of the world come and choke it up right yeah it, it's easy to dream when you're young but then you have responsibilities you're now responsible for other people and yeah. if you by any means miss any of your responsibilities you no longer have a job or an income right so those things become right. priority and oftentimes the creativity is the one that suffers right yes. Uh, and many times it has because I'd have to put things on the back burner in order to survive. Yeah. And then there's a thing called, uh, I always, I say it's, there's, there's um, timing. Yeah. You know, it may not be time right now. I mean, of course, you've got the vision. You put the, the Lord has put the vision in you. And, but it doesn't mean right now, sometimes, sometimes it might mean 10 years from now, but you work toward it. Sometimes it might mean something might mean tomorrow, but very rarely that's it, you know, yeah. because there's always a process in going for your goals. So Absolutely. you have to be smart. You know, like you said, the Bible said, if you don't work, you don't eat. And that's a very, very, very true uh, fact that, yeah. you know, we have to, you have to work and do what you need to do now, you know, and, and while you work on your craft and while you work on that, that, um, you know, whatever that vision or that desire is that God's put in you. So, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Amen. Mm -hmm. Well, do you have any advice that you would share with the audience who are, let's say, aspiring entrepreneurs or they just started anything that any wisdom you can uh, give them? Yes. Yes, I believe I do. And, and they probably heard it time and time again, and maybe not, but I would say, stay the course. I wrote my notes down so I can make sure I get it all mm -hmm. in. Yeah. Stay the course. Don't give up. You know, pray and ask God for what his plan is. Sometimes we might get, you get that mixed up. What is his plan for you? And what, what is the, the, the direction that you need to go in? So you always need direction. You always need counsel. And there's scriptures about that in the Bible. You need counsel and you yeah. pray and you ask the Lord to direct your steps because he will do that. And then you hang with people who are going in the same direction that you're going in. Wow. Don't, you don't, you know, there's a, there is, I love, I don't know if you've ever heard of, of um, Miles Monroe who wrote, of course. Yeah. oh, he is, he is phenomenal. And yes. he wrote about the eagle. No, no, I love the story about the eagle. In fact, that's in my book a little bit Okay. about the eagle, how the eagle soars high and they go against the wind there. And, and, and they don't hang with, I call the little chickadees, 
you know, they don't hang with other things, people that are not going in that direction or other birds that are, you know, they have to, they have to ride high and they go against the winds. And the, that wind is opposition and things that are going to always come at you that you're going to think, oh, I can't do this. It's not for me. You're going to have those doubts. You have to get past the doubts. You can't listen to those voices that want to tell you, you can't do it. You, you're mm -hmm. not, this not for you. You know, uh, I used to feel like I wasn't a good speaker. I mean, I can write better than I can speak. And I don't I know why I'm pretty rambling. Good job now. Well, I don't know. I'm rambling right now, I guess, because I'm putting on, I'm on the spot or whatever. I don't know. But I used to think, and, um, and sometimes I still do have those doubts that I'm not, I don't speak with such eloquence or whatever, hmm. you know, but I have to be who I am and whether you accept it or not, you know? And so, um, but you have to be, stay true to who you are and stay true to the course and not give up. Sometimes, you know, you don't want to do nothing. Sometimes I don't want to do anything, but I make myself go past. Once I go past that not want to do, then I, and once I start doing it, oh, it's not so bad. Now I'm rolling, you know? Yes. And so, um, so you, you hang with the people that are going in the right direction that you are, you have to stay the course and, um, um, and see, and then the, also those people that can make it happen or those people that have been, that ha have proven that you can do it. You know, you look at those people, listen to positive, uh, um, uh, inspirational speakers you know that's what really encouraged me yeah. and just stay focused and and my whole thing is stay in your lane okay if you're if you're trying to write or trying to be a cook and you're not a cook you better stay where we're I mean I'm not a cook I'll be the first to admit it <laughs> yeah, I, mean, I do not like to cook I don't mind saying that I'd rather <laughs> be in my office in my studio because I'm also an artist I'm a painter so I'd rather be in my studio creating with my hands, not in, in the hands of food. I, maybe I need I need to change, probably, but that's not my lane. And Keith finally yeah. got it. And sometimes I don't think he still got it. He still have it. But, um, you know, <laughs> I'll get in there and cook. I will do it. But I, that's yeah. not my better. My, my I'd rather go do something cook, else. Yeah, yeah <laughs> I'd rather... I'd rather go do something else that I love to do. So yeah. that's what I would say is to just be encouraged. Don't give up. Uh, and if you need more encouragement, if you want, and I'm, and I'm not like trying to plug my book, but that's what the book is all about. It's yeah, about encouraging what this platforms you. for. Yeah. Yes. It's, it's about encouraging you to go past you. You have to fight past that. I don't want to do. I'm with a group of artists that I, I do zoom zoom classes with just you know just to keep my art going and we have devotional first okay. and they always say you know sometimes we as artists don't want to do don't want to sometimes we just don't want to do anything and i'm fighting that now i don't know why but but we you know, I work past it and once i get in there and start drawing i say hey i'm i'm on now let's do it we're gonna yeah. do this wow. so that's what i would say to just be encouraged and if you need somebody to talk to you, I'm good at encouragement. So, okay. Well, we're definitely yeah. going to have the link for your book below for people. And, um, you. you know, we can add your contact information as well. Thank you. Thank you. Um, yes. Now, um, before we close out, was there any final words you had for our audience or anything you wanted to share? Well, um, no, I, I just, um, I know that during this uh, pandemic, I would say this, maybe I can talk a little bit about that as during this time has been such a weird, like last, last year was just so weird. I could not wait until 2020 was over because it seemed like every other day you hear bad news or, you know, I lost my mother. I lost, mm. uh, and she, it wasn't to the, due to COVID. So I can say that she was 91 years old and wow. she was like a patriarch of our family, her and my dad, my dad died when he was, when I was 20 years old Okay. and my mother stayed with us for, well, at my age now, which I won't say, <laughs> well, I don't mind saying it. Cause I think I look pretty good for 66. Yes, I'll be 66. absolutely. <laughs> I'll be 66 next, next, uh, next month. Okay. And, um, you know, she'd been with me for 66 years. She was in every, all of our uh, 10 kids. 
Wow. With nine, because that one we lost one brother. Mm. She she was in everybody's life. She was always mm. in all the pictures at all of our events. And so she was, that was a big thing for us to lose her, but we know where she is because she is with the Lord. And so that gives me peace. But but we lose, we've lost so many people, friends, mm. relatives, wow. and and it's and it weighs on you, and you think. You wonder why you feel in certain ways, but when you listen to the news and all the stuff that was going on around us, it can really be a great distraction. And um, and then and now I was so glad when 2020 was over. So I said, Lord, please let 2021 be a better year. And that's what I'm looking. I'm anticipating that. And you have to anticipate mm-hmm. that. Don't look back. We have to move forward. You know, things that, you know, would try to come back. And it's like I said, it's a process of moving forward. But you have to say you have no choice. With me, I always say I'm either going to do this. I'm either going to go forward or I'm going to go forward. There's no other, you know, I'm not going to say either I'm not. I don't even use the word not. I can't. You either you go forward or you're going to go forward. There's no other mm. option. So don't mm. make it an option that you're going to quit. You're going to, you know, go to something else. Stay true to who you are and just go for it. So that's I, that's the only thing I can think of right now. So Amen. 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 <laughs> all right. Well, I appreciate all your words of wisdom, your testimony, and sharing about your product. Um, would you mind closing us out in a prayer? Oh, of course. I, I, I'll be glad to do that. And, and thank you again, Steve, for having oh, me. My thank pleasure. You. Absolutely. <laughs> Father God, I just, oh my goodness. I'm just so excited about what you're doing in our lives and how you're raising up young people to, to go forward and to bring out that new thing that you're talking about. Behold, we do a new thing. And I thank you, Father, that you have put into our people, into people that you are called, calling that you put into them life and breath and and the abilities to do what they need to do to make a difference in this world. And that's what it's all about is to, is to serve others and to be that light, that beacon of light for others. And Lord God, I pray that whoever hears my voice, whatever I've said, that it would be something that would just spur them on to go forward and to keep it going just as you've done for me, Lord God. I'm so grateful and so thankful that you've given us life and that we're here to see another day and eat and not take each day for granted, Excellent. but to just really, really focus and to really spend time with you and to really hear your voice. The word says that, you know, um, you know, I think it's, I don't know, it's, well, I'm going to just say it like this, Lord God, I want to hear your voice and see your face only. It's always my prayer. Mm-hmm. And may it be the prayer for all of us to see your face and hear your voice only and to not hear a stranger's voice, but to know your voice. And in order for us to know your voice is to get in your face, to get in your presence and to know who you are, to know who you are and what, and what you are to us. You are the great, mighty, you the great I am, the only true and living God. There is no other God but you. And I thank you for being that God, being that, that source, being that power and that in and, 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 and indwelling in us through the Holy Spirit. So we give you all the praise and glory and honor. And may every listener be encouraged to just move forward. And I thank you for Steve, Lord God, that you have put this on him to uh, to uh, have this podcast and to 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 interview people that are doing things. Lord God, this is what we need. We thank you, Father, that um, that that there's a connection and and we just and you connect the dots. You you put everybody Mm -hmm. together. So we give you all the glory and honor in the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Well, it was wonderful having you on here. Thank you so much. What an honor and a blessing it was to have you here today. Oh, yeah. And I hope that we'll be able to continue these conversations in the future as new projects come and, you know, yes. synergy and things like that. Doors open up for all of us to yes. uh, you know, be able yes. to involve one another in whatever events and things God is doing. In the Amen. Future. That sounds good. Thank you so much, Steve. I, I had fun. I'm hyped up now. Amen. Amen. I appreciate that. Okay. And to you all in the audience, thank you for tuning in to this episode of the KOG Entrepreneur Show. As always, I want to remind you that the kingdom of God is within you. So be blessed and we'll see you next time. 
Amen.